Thinking of doing your HGV license? Or you've just passed your HGV license? Not sure on driver's hours? Not sure on working time? Not sure how you hitch up to a trailer? Not sure how you strap a load? Then why not check out the new essential trucker's handbook? Crack a little book, jam packed with information, lots and lots of information on it. Nice handy size to carry around. I keep it in my shelf at the top there, so if I need it, I'll just refer to it. It's got so much information in it, guys. Uh, link will be in the description. Take a look, check it out, enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. Very good morning. How oh, the devil is everyone? Hope everyone is well. Here, rejoin me on Thursday morning. A bit of deja vu. This is exactly the start of last week's video. <laughs> uh, hopefully, you'll have just seen a little clip um, of when I got you last night. I've been uh, Woolly Edge Services. You may have seen a little clip. I got my drone up last night. Um, I thought, why not? Get it up, see if I can uh, get a few shots of the service area and everything else. So, <coughs> just put that up. And uh, <laughs> accidentally woke Claire up a bit early this morning. I sent her a message saying good morning. She wanted you to get up till uh, six o'clock. I messaged her at quarter past five this morning. And uh, she didn't put her phone on silent and the message woke her. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so, she's up and about now. She's up in um, Route 74. She got to Paisley this morning. I see, I'm just coming out of the Edge now, heading back to Wales. And I'm wondering whether I'm going to have exactly the same as I did last week. Um, so obviously, I came out of your tip town in um, Thermo. Uh, picked another trailer up, took that to the yard. <coughs> and then uh, went to Barnsley last Friday. So I'm wondering whether I'm going to have the same thing again. <coughs> so, let's just have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, 6 a.m. Uh, card went in at quarter to. I uh, got up at uh, 5 o'clock just after. And... Uh, I was up a little bit earlier than I was expecting to be. Uh, I set my alarm for half past five, but I was awake before my alarm, so I thought, oh, might as well get up. Uh, went over to use the facilities, and then uh, came back, made myself a cuppa, spoke to Claire, had a quick FaceTime with Claire. And uh, yeah, I'm on my way. Done my walk around check and everything else. So, all's good this morning. Uh, another nice day blue skies again 
It is 12 degrees <laughs> for 6 o'clock in the morning. So it might be a warm one again today. We will see. Uh, but I just thought I'd say good morning and uh, say I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing once I get back. Um, just hope it's not another Barnsley. I didn't want to do the same as last week, but something's better than nothing. I never know, I might even have a backload from Barnsley this time around if I do go to Barnsley. So it might be something different to record, but we'll see. We shall see, see how the day goes. Um, it's 4 hours and 40 minutes back to the yard, so I'm going to have to have a break. So I'm going to crack on down to Strencham, have a break at Strencham, that'll be about three and a half hours. And then uh, have a break at Strencham and then crack on back to Thermo then from Strencham. And, uh, and then see what I've got from there then. <coughs> the old cruise control on. Uh, so yeah, see what happens. And uh, I'll probably I'll come back to you just before I get to Thermo. Or when I've been to Thermo and know what I'm doing. But uh, yeah. I'll speak to you shortly. Um, do a little time lapse from here and then uh, I'll speak to you in a bit. Toodles. Bathing in the light that you share, you like the sun. Who am I to think how it be if you were mine? I've been walking with my shades on for so long, I can't seem to get them back on. Cause oh, how I fell in love. Couldn't see it coming, blessed in my stereo I can feel it coming, you on my radio All I'm hearing is a song Just tipped at Thermo. I'm just going to uh, pull forward and open my door. Uh, close my doors up. So further back here, so we we'll keep this roadway clear because it's a one-way system in here. Right, handbrake on, neutral. Two ticks. Be back now. Oh, right, from here, I'm going up to Sagafi, uh, reloading up there, uh, and I'm going back to Preston. So, same sort of direction as Bradford. Well, not really, no. I'm going up the M6 this time around. So, I'm going up to Preston. So, not that. Yeah. One door closed. Two door closed. Yeah, it's going up to Preston, so that'll be the cinema for the morning, so it's probably Packer. Because normally if it's Leyland. Um, it's uh, it's an afternoon tip in Leyland, so we're presuming that it's a pack our parts delivery plate but, uh, tomorrow. I won't know for definite until I get the paperwork. Oh, I must well leave the ivies on. I'm only going up the road. 
and they're going to need it when I get there. All right, so. Let's go. Um, and then uh, looking to get me a back load from Preston. But as of this present moment in time, they don't know what that is. So I thought, well, I was talking to Claire earlier on and I'm thinking to myself, well, I've had to take the Wednesday's vlog down. Um, reason being is we're showing something on the screen uh, that I didn't want shown, basically. Uh, so I've taken it down and I'm going to sort that out when I get back on Friday. And I'm thinking what I might do is put that video out on Saturday. So that'll be my Saturday's vlog. And the one I recorded yesterday will be Wednesday's vlog. Okay. Hey darling. Hey Trigger, what is day? Uh, I'll tell you in a bit. I've got the cameras rolling in a minute. All right, okay. Um, well, uh, it's taken me 38 minutes. Yeah. To get in, get loaded, and strap it. Good girl. I'm bloody knackered. <laughs> <laughs> you always said the naughty word then, didn't you? I almost did. <laughs> almost did. did. <laughs> yeah, they've given Claire a, a good old challenge. Um, she tipped in Paisley this morning, sent her down to Lockerbie to get into... Where are you going again? I've forgotten. The roofing place. Yeah, where? Oh, where am I going to? Yeah. Uh, St. Anne's, St. Anne's Blackpool area. Yeah, down the Blackpool by three o'clock. I'm going to get there now, once I've had my break. Yeah. Uh, how about two That's w That's once you've had your break? Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad then. No. Just, uh, well, it should be all right traffic-wise going down that way because you don't hit traffic until you get to Preston, so. Yeah. You should be okay. Should be. Oh, that's not too bad going in, love. Because we thought that, that was no. going to be an impossible task, didn't we? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, gate open. I have to help with that van being packed where it was, because I've had to come at a different angle now. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, where are you off into then? Uh, I am going up to Segefi, babe. Oh. I've just tipped and that'd be break. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm heading up to Segefi uh, for Preston for the morning. So, I'm presuming, I was just saying now, I'm presuming it's going to be pack our parts. Yeah. Um, and I was saying about uh, the vlog I took down yesterday. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it was showing something that we didn't want shown. So, uh, that's why I've yeah. taken it down and uh, that uh, I'm probably going to put that out Saturday now and then uh, and what I recorded yesterday uh, I'll put out midweek and then what I'm recording now will come out the same week just do it sort of maybe I don't know put the one out on the Tuesday another one out on the Thursday or whatever yeah so so they get an extra vlog that week <laughs> so they've only had one this week but they'll have an extra one next week <laughs> So anyway guys, right, I'm going to crack on up to Sagefi, get loaded, <coughs> and then um, make my way up north. So I will uh, probably talk to you when I'm leaving Sagefi, something like that. So I'll speak to you in a bit guys. Toodles. Morning guys. Oh. Whew. Friday morning, just before 7 o'clock. Limb truck stop. Uh, I'm honest, I did want to get up a little bit earlier. I uh, don't know why, really, because the place doesn't open till 8 o'clock. Uh, due to get there now for 20 to 8. <coughs> but uh, yeah, Claire rang me at 6 o'clock. You still sleeping? Uh, I was. <laughs> So yeah, started at uh, half past six. Oop. Watch what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, 
started up at six and uh, now heading out. Yeah, and we walk around checks and the double juice of facilities. As of yet, still no backload. Uh, Claire still hasn't got a backload. She's up at um, China Richard. Um, I was hoping to get up there last night, but the traffic was just unreal. And uh, I only had, well, I parked up on nine hours and one minute driving last night. Uh, so I went one minute into a 10 hour drive, which is okay, because I've got, I did have two, I've now got one left. So I can use a 10 today if I need it. And, uh, Yeah, Claire is uh, wait, still waiting on her backload details. Doesn't know what she's doing yet. Um, just gonna wait for Matt to come in and then uh, see what she's doing. So uh, she's up and about and getting herself sorted and just uh, waiting to hear from Matt, basically. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Cliff Lane. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Talk of the devil. Hello, my darling. Cam cameras are on. Cameras are on. Are you rolling? I am indeed. How far away are you? Uh, I'm just leaving Lim. Just leave a limb. Yeah. <laughs> lazy, lazy bugger. I know. Uh, you okay? Oh, yeah, I will eat Ah. I'm still not sure whether they open at 7 or 8 o'clock, though, so. I'm sure it's 7. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe 8 o'clock. I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember. You sleep okay? Yeah, I did actually last night. That's good. Not too bad. That's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> busy year this yeah. morning. Huh? It's busy year this morning, can't get off the roundabout. Really? Yeah. That's because you left it too late, see? Yeah. Because the wife had to wake you up again. Yes, I have, I have told everyone that you woke me up. I literally did not hear any of my alarms this morning. Not one of them. And I said about 33, so. Huh? I said about 33 alarms and I didn't hear one of them. I must have been a tired boy. Yes, you must have been. Mm. Did you go to bed last night? Not long after I spoke to you. Walked over, used the facilities, and then um, went to bed. So I didn't even walk over and use them, I just went to bed. Yeah. Uh, what was that? It was about half past ten, wasn't it? Might have been earlier than that, actually. Say again? So it might have been about half past ten, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was about ten o'clock. So 10 o'clock, yeah. So, yeah. time I sort myself out, whatever else, but I past 10, I went to bed. It's on late. So, I don't know. Oh, shut up. Penguin in the truck. No, woodpecker. Not a penguin. Woodpecker. Oh, wake up, Matt. Flip an egg. Anyway, I'm um, about. 35 minutes away now just getting back onto the M6 so I will catch you guys uh, either when I'm up there or uh, when I find out exactly what I'm doing I'll come back and let you know so I'll speak to you in a bit toodles all right all tipped in Leyland and take long at all and I'm literally um, just about coming into uh, my reload which is literally five minutes around the corner from Leyland. Uh, picking up from a place called Etec. So it's on this road apparently. 
and going left maybe. So I'm going to see if I can find this E-Tech. No? X-Pack, that's the one, not E-Tech, X-Pack. There it is on the right. I can see it. After 300 yards, you have reached your destination. Uh, delivered today, that brewery. Next pack. Do, 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 do. Entrance 100 meters on the right. Okay. So I have a feeling I might have to wait outside first. Uh, where they're going. Do, 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 do. So what is Laurie's doing? Oh, I might be okay. Gates opening because I don't want that one. Uh -huh. you have your destination. Oh, All deliveries report the goods in. Uh, I don't want goods in, no, I want goods out. Mm -mm. Oh, there's a bay there, so if I pull up on the bay there. I'm going to find someone then. Goods out with this way, so it must be this one. Goods out. There we are. Ooh. Let's go and see. What's uh, the reference number? 3101A for Redditch. So I'm delivering it today. Oh, down in Redditch. Let's have a look. It's. Ooh. So I woke up this morning, the hands and arms are really, really sore. Oof. Having a bad day today with it. All right. Let's go and have a word. Oh, excuse me. I'll come back to you in a bit. Toodles. All right. Load is ready for me. Uh, that's the lorry that was um, in the front there. Just as I came in. And I've got to reverse round that side. So, I need to do a blind reverse. Basically, I need to go forward a little bit first, just to get a slight angle. And he's just got in my way. I might. We shall see now. That should be right. Okay, mate. Wait for him to go. I've got the camera facing the uh, the mirror, so what I'll do is I'll, um, when I put it into editing, I'll get close to that camera, uh, the screen, so you can actually see it. And uh, keep an eye on the bottom one, you can see exactly then how much easier it is to do a blind reverse with these mirrors. I don't think I've ever showed you a blind reverse. I might have done when I was at Keywell, but I don't think I've shown you one properly. So. As you can see, the angle is quite wide on it. Let's see what that uh, forklift's going to do now. So which way he's going? Hopefully, he's going to go down out of the way now. After 18 yards, go around the roundabout and take the third exit, Tompkins Road. Hopefully, if I keep it at that angle, it should be okay. Take it nice and easy. I don't know what's the other side that skips, see? 
as you can see on the bottom screen, I can see quite a bit there. I just can't see what's behind this skip. I don't think there's anything there. I'll bring it around. Start bringing it around now. And what I've got to watch as well is my right side. Make sure there's nothing in the way. I think I'm okay. I think I'm probably going to have to move over a bit unless they're going to load from one side, I'm not sure. I can't go much further because I've got stuff on the right there. Go over that way a bit, yeah? Yeah, so as you can see I'm straight as a die there now, which is good. But I'm going to need now to come over a bit so they can get to both sides. But that's how good the mirrors are. You can see I was almost at a 90 degree angle and then I could still see everything. Which is good. To watch myself as I come back around because I got pallets on my right hand side. So I'm bringing it around now. Check with him, see if that's okay. Is that better? There we go. Right, let's get this loaded. See you in a bit. Doodles. Take this off. Not quite sure how long that camera's gonna last there. Uh, got 31% left on it. Um, what have I done with that? <clears throat> do, 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 do. done with it. I have a holder. Can't see it there, it's dark. Whoops, hit the camera. Oh god I got dropsy today. Blimey. In there.
No, nope, not in that. Uh, I was going to put you on the dash and put you on charge. Oh, I can't do that without having that holder because otherwise the camera will just fall over. Oh, I'll just have to make this bit quick. Um, all loaded. What a nice guy. The, uh, the loader I was talking to. Really nice guy. Uh, scouser. And he's saying it about, he's asking whether I was from uh, Swansea or Cardiff. It's originally Cardiff, it's the Minister of Manic now. Oh uh, yeah, nice fella. Nice chatting with him. Um, loaded me in no time. Two of them on me. And uh, job done. Right. Let's get out of here. I am two hours and 47 minutes away from Redditch. So I um, uh, should be able to do it in one hit. 10 past 12 getting there. So it's, uh, before my six hours as well, I might take a 15 on the way down for a working time break. Get out of here. Take that off now. A bit warm. I don't know, 15 degrees. Not too bad considering the sun's not out yet. Yeah, that was a handy little collection, that, from uh, tipping at uh, Leyland and Daff. Or oh, Daff in Leyland. Um, literally five minutes around the corner. Superb. Left on the roundabout and uh, exit. so you're dropping this into Redditch, which is on the way back to Wales. And I should imagine then I will be back empty from there because uh, I know it won't be into the hub because that's where Claire's gone. So she could have come down to uh, Lim last night, but uh, there's a possibility that she's supposed to be picking out of uh, Blackburn this morning, but to no fruition. So uh, she's been sent down to the uh, down to the hub to collect. So, yeah. so she'll be home. Well, she'll be back to the yard pretty early today, as long as she's not too long in the hub. But uh, yeah. Anyway, right. I'm gonna crack on. Let's get down to Redditch. Let's get this off, and I'll probably speak to you just before I get to Redditch. So I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Toodles. Hello. Okay. Right. You join me a couple of hours later. It is now one minute past 12, and I am on the A448 Bromsgrove Highway. And this road isn't the best, I've got to be honest. It's full of lumps and bumps and goodness knows what. It's not the, it's not the best of roads to be traveling on, i got to be honest. Um, I can do 60 down here, but I'm doing 50 at the moment, or 48. Because it's uh, a little bit all over the place. But, um, yeah. Anyway, moan over. <laughs> um, but a pretty good rundown, I've got to be honest. Um, got packed by someone on the bridge on the M6. Uh, I did see Alfie yesterday, so... Um, Alfie did give, uh, take some pictures of the truck as I was went past yesterday, going up, uh, I think it was past 16. Uh, he was on the bridge with his dad. So it was nice to see you, Alfie. Thank you for the photos, mate. Much appreciated. And I also got, uh, I think it's Painter's Truck Photography. Uh, I think he photographed me yesterday as well, going uh, back towards Wales. Uh, top of the M50 on the M5 uh, there, and then he caught me on the way back again. So uh, he got me twice yesterday. Um, oh, I mean, this road is all over the place. Um, so yeah, it was nice to be photographed with the truck out on the road. Uh, what am I now? 2.3 miles from where I'm going. Um, 
four minutes it says so I'm gonna see if I can waffle for four minutes have a go <laughs> uh, Claire's gone into the hub um, she sent me a photo earlier on having more toast <laughs> she loves having that eco flow in the truck absolutely loves it um, I'm being sent another eco flow as well uh, the river mini um, I think that's either arriving today or tomorrow and uh, I'm going to do a little review on that when I'm on my bike tour because I'm going to be taking that with me. I'm going to be using that to uh, to charge all my cameras up because obviously I'm uh, going to record the, the trip or segments of it. Anyway, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet because it's going to be over five days. Whether I'll do it day by day um, for what we do different days and different vlogs or whether I'll, um, I'll just intertwine it all into one. I don't know. What would you guys rather see? Would you rather see daily ones of where we're going? Sort of from the start of when I leave the house um, meeting up with the boys and then going down to uh, Dover and that sort of thing for day one and then getting to the hotel and then day two when we start doing our tour um, and then individual days we've got three days of touring um, and then uh, obviously the trip back as well and do you want to see all that individually or do you want to see it in one one big um, one big vlog so to speak so let me know in comments below just let me know what uh, uh, what you would like to see um, also the EcoFlow um, one that I've already uh, reviewed on a couple of weeks ago uh, the link's still in the description uh, I know this one is a little bit expensive but you do get 5% off um, so it's uh, it is ideal for, for trucking or camping oh. come off of this one Luckily, nothing behind me. <laughs> so it was, it was going down to a roundabout then, not coming off of the junction. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, the link's still in the description, so if you want to click on the link, um, if you are interested in buying one, um, it's perfect for trucking. Claire's loving having it in her truck. Uh, she wouldn't like the fact that I'm going to have to take it out of a truck for a week so I can do a comparison review <laughs> um, but the uh, the next one I'm being sent is it's quite compact and it's a lot cheaper uh, it's still not cheap but it's a lot cheaper um, but I will do a review on that one as well and I'll do a comparison with the two uh, so yeah some of the something to do in the future I think that'll be over July and August I think maybe or in July um, yeah we'll see on that one It's two minutes away, 800 yards, according to this. So I should imagine it's going to be on some sort of industrial estate. Let's turn right, Nash Road, 400 yards. Yeah, it looks like it's an industrial area. So it's not this turn, it's probably where that lorry's just turned. So I should imagine it's down here somewhere. on something called Park Farm. So whether there's an area called Park Farm in here, I don't know. But the road name's matched anyway, so. All right, let's just pull over by here a minute. Let's have a look at the paperwork. And break on. Ah, fulfillment, Bayless and Harding, Nash Road, Park Farm. So it's on Nash Road, which is where I'm on now. And the, pay, the postcode is asking me to turn left. So it could be on that one there. Fulfillment. Bayless and Harding. All right, let's go have a look. Nice little burger van there as well. It could be breakfast if they take card. <laughs> After 80 yards, turn left, Nash Road, then you have reached your destination. Ah, right, it's another industrial state for the look of it. Turn left, then you have 
reached your destination. Da da da, anyone in there? No? Right. <sighs> Fulfillment, Bayless and Harding. That's on the sign saying anything there. Do, 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 do. I don't know. Have the ladies wait. Turn it round here, I think. <laughs> Got room there to turn it, so it should be okay. Hug the curb going round, it should be okay. There's a bar on the floor there. And let's take it nice and gently. All good. So I'm bringing it around. Next one down there. Do 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 do. Crispo, Brown, Avena, AA, Circom. Hmm. Can't see anything there. Google is your friend. Let's pull up out the way. Let's see if I can find it on Google. All right. Yeah, another truck now. Lovely. Da 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 dee 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 dee. I'm gonna be in his way now, I think. Right. Uh, no, I don't want my emails, do I? Bayless and Harding, Redditch, that's the one. Top on the left. Got to go up to the top of the now. Turn left. Uh, it looks like it's up there. Right. This is where Google is your friend. The postcodes brought me into this one. Uh, according to this, I got to go left, and it's up on top on the left-hand side. Bayless and Harding. There we go. If I'd have come up under the yards more, I'd have seen it. Goods in Woods left. Uh, the gate is closed. 
press in the gun for access. Okay. Oh, back door tip by the look of it. That makes things a lot easier. I'll probably have to take all the straps off though. <laughs> Hello, honey. Hello, darling. Uh, cameras are rolling. I'm just jumping out to uh, just ring the bell for this place I'm delivering to. I'll be back now, love. Okay. 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 Two ticks. Okay. Gladly hear a word he was saying then. Oh, on bay three, back door tip as well, babe. Woohoo! Oh, amazing. Uh, oh. I'm gonna have to undo the curtains though, because I got the, see, uh, the straps on them. <laughs> it won't take two minutes anyway. Everything all right? Oh, good. In and out. Ooh. Gates start to shut on me then. <laughs> No, don't do that. No. Sorry about the beeping. I'll go in a minute. <laughs> Put your bloody seatbelt on then. I'm turning round in the yard. I don't need it on. Don't care. You should still have it on anyway. The vehicle is moving. Yes, my love. Yes. Is on now I'm in the yard. Oh. You all loaded on your way down, love you? I am. Happy days. But um just to let you know. Yeah. There's um been an accident on the M5. Is that? Yeah. It doesn't look good when they close the road. We're two on the M5, do you know? No. But I've got on my but it's northbound that they closed in the road. Right. But I've also got a delay on my fat nav already. Oh, I'll have you rubbing that again. Uh. Right, two ticks, open the back doors. Okay. gentleman he's in a Merc, older, older type Merc and he can't get his suspension to go down. I tried doing the reset for him but it's not happening. His suspension's oh. stuck up. Hold him on oh, buttons yeah. to press on it. His lift axle won't even go up either. Oh. It's a bit strange. Paperwork's got to go, or keys, or anything like that. All right, guys, I'm all, all on the bay now, as you've seen. Um, got a red light already, blind me. Hey, they're actually getting on the back now. Yeah. Right, I'm going to sort this out. I've got to uh, unstrap as well, so uh, see where the paperwork's got to go, and I'll catch you a bit uh, before I leave. So, I'll catch you in a bit, guys. 
Toodles. Bum, 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 bum. Hey guys. Um, right. The last one I was into uh, in Redditch, I was in and out no time at all. I had to pull outside and have a break. Had half hour's driving time left. I was hoping to get the Strentrum, but uh, with the traffic, I had no chance of getting there, so I had to have a, a half hour outside uh, outside the tip and then make my way back. And I'm basically now, what, 20 minutes from the yard, just down in Pontypool at the moment, stuck in traffic. This is regular this time of night on a Friday down here. This roundabout is an absolute nightmare. They come around corners and no indication, you don't know which way they're going. They could come in this lane, but yet they can turn off that way. There we go. Not too bad today, thank goodness. Um, yeah, just thought I'd come back to you now and uh, do my little outro, because that's going to be it for this week now, guys. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this little one that I've done for you. Um, so don't forget, if you are watching and you're not subscribed, uh, then please press that subscribe button and uh, once you've done that press the bell notification get a notification when my vlogs come out and uh, if you're interested in following ferryman you can follow them on all three platforms instagram twitter and facebook at ferryman limited and if you want to follow me on socials if you want to see what claire is doing then uh, i'm at jenko trucker on twitter and uh, trucker jenko on instagram and facebook go and give us a follow uh, i'm almost at 2000 on instagram now so uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, go and give us a follow. And uh, see if we can get my numbers up a little bit on Insta. Um, not doing too bad. I think I got about 4,500 on uh, Facebook. So that's quite nice. Um, but yeah, if you want to follow me, see what's going on. Um, then uh, give us a follow on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Um, do, 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 do. I'm hoping now tonight to uh, sort that video out from Wednesday and I'll put that up then tomorrow night, Saturday night. And then the two I've recorded this week now, I'll put one out Tuesday, one out Wednesday. So you'll have three vlogs this week. So that's not too bad. So this will be the third. So I hope you've enjoyed them all. Uh, so I'm just going to get back to the yard now. Desperate need of fuel. So I don't know whether you can see with that camera, but I am on reserve on AdBlue and I am on reserve on fuel as well. I have got 108 miles left on AdBlue, so that's okay. And I've got 78 miles left in the tank for fuel. And obviously just got 7.6 miles to go. So plenty of fuel in there to get back. So one thing I like about the Merc, it actually gives you the, uh, the distance you can do with what you've got left in the tank. So. That'll probably fill up on about 430, 440 litres, I would think. i got a 490 litre fuel tank. Um, the downfall about the Mercs is you've only got a small ad blue tank. It's only like 36 litres. Um, but I haven't put any in this week at all. So uh, I'm not surprised it's on reserve now. Um, I thought to myself on uh, it Wednesday night or Thursday morning, uh, or was it yesterday? Yesterday, actually. Um, when I got told I was doing the uh, the uh, Leyland and the uh, and a reload back. I thought, well, I got half a tank. Um, got half a tank of our blue. So, well, a quarter of a tank of our blue, I think. So that should be enough to get up and back again. And it it has it sufficed. It's been enough. So that's good. So I got a fuel of our blue up when I get back to the yard. That's loud. Um, and then uh, obviously drop the trailer, give the truck a wash, do paperwork, and then go home for the weekend. And I got E-Tex next week without Claire. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, just get on with it. Hopefully, I can get some nice footage in for you for next week. Maybe do some other places I haven't done before. You never know. I did a couple the last time I was on it that I'd never done before, so never know. I'll get some different ones and uh, get a bit more footage for you. Um, but yeah, I gotta uh, watch what I'm doing here now because the 
microphone has run out of battery so it's getting very low so i make sure it's uh, it's all good so i'm gonna call it a day guys thank you very much for watching I do appreciate every single one of you that watch i love you the reading all your messages you know i've read your message i'll leave you a heart on the message i don't reply to everyone but i do reply to some but you'll know i've read it by putting a heart on there so you know i've read your message so keep the messages up uh, don't forget the EcoFlow link on the bottom as well. If you're uh, interested and you want five percent off, then click the link on the below, on below, on the below, down below, and uh, have a look at the EcoFlow. And in a couple of weeks' time, I'll uh, I'll do another one on the the mini that's coming. Apparently, it's coming tomorrow, so I will do another one on that when I'm away in Normandy. So that'll be different settings and surroundings, and on the bike and everything else. So that'll be good. I'm looking forward to doing a, a little video of uh, the trip to normandy that's going to be good so anyway i'm waffling again now i've got to cut this short so thank you guys do appreciate it whatever you're doing be safe be good and i'll most definitely catch you in the next one toodles <laughs>